welcome to part one of day zero to five lactation video series with Liquid Gold Concept. I'll give you a brief overview of each video's objectives and then dive into the first part of the series, breast anatomy. The objectives of these videos are first to talk about breast anatomy during pregnancy and lactation, progesterone's role in lactation, tight junctions and the transition from colostrum to milk, and we'll end with lactose's role in breast fullness and engorgement. The main focus of these videos will be on what's going on within the mammary glands between days zero to five after birth and why, for many moms, these processes can lead to breast engorgement. The first thing I wanna talk about is breast anatomy. Your breasts are composed of two main types of tissue, stroma and parenchyma. The parenchyma is the glandular tissue, the mammary glands. This is the part of your breast responsible for making milk. I've represented it here in blue. The mammary glands are divided into specialized grape-like clusters called alveoli, similar to your lung tissue. If we zoom in on the mammary alveoli, we see that the alveoli are comprised of a single layer of epithelial cells. Like other epithelial cells in the body, they line tissues and secrete fluids, for example, mucus in your nose. These epithelial cells in the breast tissue synthesize milk and secrete it into the lumen of the alveolus. It remains in the lumen until baby feeds or it's pumped out. The stroma, in contrast, is all of the other supportive tissue, like fats, blood and lymph vessels, ligaments, as well as interstitial fluids. The blood is responsible for bringing nutrients and taking away some of the waste. And the lymph vessels, represented in green, are responsible for recycling fluid in the breast tissue. If we zoom in even further to these alveoli, we see that that epithelial lining lines the entire alveolus with the blood and the lymph vessels lining it. We label the inside of the alveolus, the lumen, which is where the milk will collect and eventually will flow down the ducts and out the nipple. We label the two sides of the epithelial lining as apical, which is towards the center or towards the lumen, and basolateral, which is the side towards the blood and lymph vessels. This will become important as we dive even deeper looking into this at the cellular level. So we just finished the introduction to breast anatomy during pregnancy and lactation. For more information, feel free to check out the links below, check out more breast health talks on our YouTube channel, and visit our website to learn more about our amazing lineup of breast health education products. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.